my lovelies, I hope you're all well. So in our previous video, I showed you how you can use Pattern Fill for desktop. Today I'm going to show you for iOS, so that's your iPad or your iPhone. Now Pattern Fill doesn't actually exist for the iOS app. You can create a Pattern Fill, but it's a very basic process compared to the desktop version and it doesn't have a dedicated pattern fill upload. The first thing I'm going to do is download my digital papers. So I'm simply going to select download now and then download and that's then going to download to my files. There's two ways I can get to my files. I can either click up here with the circle and the arrow and that will take me straight to it. You might find it's already on your home screen or I can actually search for files. It will open up my iCloud Drive and I can select Downloads. And you'll see I've then got zipped folders and unzipped folders. So when it first comes in, it will be a zipped folder. And all I need to do is click on it. And it will then create a unzipped folder for me. When I then open that up, I will be able to see the pattern papers. And the majority of pattern papers will be JPEG or PNG, which will allow me to upload them as an image because that's what I need to do on the iOS app. Unlike with desktop, when I can upload it as a dedicated pattern fill, the only way I can create a pattern fill for iOS is to upload the digital papers as an image upload. So if we open up Cricut and we go to upload, I can browse files. It's gonna open up my downloads. I can then select my folder and I can then choose the paper that I'm going to upload. Let's do this red one. I don't need to do anything to it. So I can select apply, print then cut, and then give it a name and upload. It's then going to upload it as an image. I can then create a very basic version of the pattern fill. So what I'm going to do with this one is just make it the size of my image, draw around both, and then slice. So I'm slicing out that pattern into my image to create that pattern fill. It doesn't give me the control that pattern fill gives me on desktop, but I can still create some lovely patterns onto images. So for example, I want, let's do two patterns for this one. So I'm going to go to upload, browse files. We'll bring this tartan in, apply, print then cut and give it a name and upload. And then we're going to upload again, browse files. We're going to go back to downloads and we're going to open up the gold one and let's just go for a gold glitter effect. Apply, print then cut and let's call it gold glitter, upload. So the first thing I want to do is ungroup this. So I'm going to ungroup it so that I can see my different layers. I've got three layers here. I'm going to do my gold glitter on the yellow layer and my tartan on the red layer. So I want to come down to the bottom of my canvas, open up my layers panel. I'm going to hide the green layer by selecting it in my layers panel and then clicking on the eye icon. And I'm gonna hide my red layer by doing the same. But I'm not moving them, so I'm keeping everything as you see it. I'm then gonna get my gold glitter. I'm going to go to edit and I'm going to unlock it so that I can actually manipulate the shape just a little bit. And then I'm going to duplicate it by going to actions and duplicate like so. I'm going to draw around the first half and slice. 
and then the second half and slice. If I open up my layers panel, we can see we've got the yellow M there. I can delete that. I've got the gold square. I can delete that. And I've got this gold square. I can delete that. I can also get rid of that other yellow layer as well. If I bring back my red layer and I then hide my two gold layers, I can do the exact same thing. And I can make the kind of image work for me. Again, I can draw around all of it and I can slice. I can get rid of the block, delete that. And if I go to my layers panel, I can delete the original letters. I can then bring it back. And in fact, I'll do something with the green, I think. Oh, will I? No, I'll leave it like that. I've then created that pattern fill. So I could then print that out and I could do whatever I then wanted to do with it. So that's how you can create a pattern fill on IOSAP without there actually being the pattern fill feature. As I say, it doesn't give you as much control as with desktop. And sometimes you find that you really do have to play around. You might really need to manipulate the digital paper that you bring in, in terms of the size. You might need to rotate it a little bit. You might find that you really need to play with it. Sometimes it'll work really well, sometimes not so much, but you've got the option to create your own pattern fill on Design Space for iOS. As always, I hope this has been helpful. Thank you so much for joining me. If you've got any comments or questions, please do leave them below. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell. And I'll see you all again very soon. Bye.